Oh, we love this. Six of Wands and Eight of Wands. Cupid's arrows. This is all about passion and passionate communication. And the Six of Wands is the energy of pride. It's the energy of the winner who went uh, to battle and came back um, to be crowned, right? That's a Six of Wands, a winner. Look at me, 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 me. I am wonderful. I am amazing. And guess what? We are not reading reversals with this one. And we do have the Knight of Cups. We have love coming our way. Can be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And they have a lot of passion for you. Can simply be uh, an offer of love. My Knight of Cups is my I love you. I want you. I want to make love to you energy. And it is paired with the Eight of Wands. This is kind of the combination of yeah, I love you, and thank God we are not in the same room, you know? Or, one, <laughs> like, you know, one, one of the energies where we always say, you know what? Um, shirts and pants are the most useless invention. Yeah, I said it. We do, <laughs> we do have the eight of ones in the world. Happy endings. That's a beautiful energy of happy endings and passion and coming together. Eight of Wands is the energy of traveling. So maybe you want to travel the world. Eight of Wands with the world is traveling the world to your person. Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. This is you. This is the person you are dealing with. Can be another fire sign. And it's a lot of Cupid's arrows um, between the two of you. Now let's see the bottom of the deck for the most important energy. And we have reconciliation. We do have rebirth, um, Sagittarius, that's beautiful to see. This is about second chances. And this is about coming together with somebody. And we do have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But this can be your energy where we think about this reconciliation. And we have it in our energy. We have it on our mind. And with the judgment, we have it on our path, right? That's a judgment. It's your destiny, it's your journey, your path, and the destiny puts again something um, your way. In a smart way. Queen of uh, Swords, we know it's a lot of wits and smarts. It's also perspective, it's clarity of the mind, clarity of communication, uh, vision, we simply know, right? Poor, uh, poor, poor. I, I was about to speak to you in French. Um, for certain d'entre vous, right? For some of you. Um, um, yeah, oh my God. What I wanted to say is that for some of you can be simply a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and you get your second chance with them. So past energies for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Now let's have current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome and again we say the last week of june but you know how time is fluid and we are working with energies oh boy um so such says you might have this energy of um cold energy we do have the queen of swords and the king of swords absolutely your soulmate this is kind of a confirmation of vibing at the same level because we have the energies of of the same suit this is about two powerful powerful people coming together brainy very smart um and uh experienced right we have a queen and a king i mean we are not kids right um and then the rebirth absolutely i'm picking up uh, the energy of a connection who's meant to be together right and it's is meant to come together um in a powerful way right it is about making things right, it is about communication, it is about balance and decisions and fairness. So for some of you, this is all that it is to it for the end of June. So let's have the possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Oh yeah, that was hurt, absolutely. Three of swords, five of wands, and eight of cups there was hurt there were fights and walking away king of pentacles twice the energy of walking away mm. emotional withdrawal right this is eight of cups is i am no longer fulfilled i cannot stay here and fight right i cannot um stay here and struggle and we went into retreat but the universe is saying that is a rebirth for some of you 
uh, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Yes, I come back, but I have conditions, right? Yes, we can be together, but but then I have this um I I have these requests, right, and expectations. So because it's Queen of Swords and King of Swords, um, again, can be people working uh, for government. This is about um, uh, people in uniform. But I'm sensing more that this is uh, two powerful people uh, coming to terms, uh, finding an agreement of some sort. We know swords is all about agreements and contracts. So um, finding a way to give a second chance, like a, a brainy way, a smart way, right? So Sagittarius, on your side in the past, you gave this person, of course, a lot of love. We do have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Again, can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We had new beginnings, we had renewals, we had this energy of, yeah, we can start over, in and out kind of energy also. And true love, I would say, such a beautiful, mature energy again. Um, you know, we have the Queen of Swords, which is the energy of the brain, so we love them with the mind. And now with the Queen of Cups, we love them with the heart, right? And they, the, both of them were uh, working for you. And also this energy of Ace of Cups, this energy of, of renewal, of love. This is the energy of they are the one. And this is all that I have and I'm giving it to you, right? That's the Ace of Cups. Opportunities of love, chances, offerings. And this is my heart. Now this person of yours might have been a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. We do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. They took their time and they... Um, they might have been slow about this connection because they were thinking a lot, right? Two of Swords, the energy of blindfulness, the energy of thinking, the energy, of, the energies of, I don't know what to do about you. I don't know what to do about this connection, right? That's the energy of, I have to do something about, but I'm not ready just yet. Um, but they came to this connection, Sagittarius, with an energy, with a friendly energy, with the energy of stability, with the energy of wanting to build something slow. Um, again, maybe a little bit confused about how is going to how this is going to work. But um, the Knight of Pentacles is a solid energy, right? Um, it's not something that ends tomorrow, right? Uh, but then both of us, Sagittarius, we got suspended here. We do have the hangman and we do have the nine of pentacles, right? One is the energy of independence and the, ener the one and one is the energy of sacrifice. So probably the energy between the two of you shifted in some way. In any ways, you brought different energies and they brought different energies to this connection coming from two different places. Uh, from two different auras of energy, um, probably expectations too. Uh, one looks on your side, it's like extremely um, enthusiastic in some way with a lot of love. On their side, there, that is the energy of I'm going to be cautious and I'm going to take my time to think about, right? And, um, and then again, the energy between the two of you is one of I want to be independent while the other person might have felt that they've um, sacrificed a lot for this. That is this energy of changing perspective. So some of you maybe discovered that that is more to life than this. Can be your person, can be. Because um, Hangman, we know it's the energy of perspectives and Nine of Pentacles, the energy of independence. So, and we had at the bottom of the deck energies of walking away, right? Three of Swords, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles, and that was another Eight of Cups that we saw it there. Twice the Eight of Cups, right? This one and this one. So I feel that somehow somebody revisited the terms of, of the agreement and uh, changed their perspective and longed for independence here. Um, that is this energy. And kind of justifies the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, right? So Sagittarius, independence and passion. Let me tell you. You have the Nine of Pentacles in the past for both of you. And now we have it on your side with the Ace of Wands. We are excited about new beginnings. We want to feel free. We want to focus on ourselves, on our independence, on our finances and money. And just, um, you know, being good with ourselves. Um, and Ace of Wands, we have Ace of Cups in the past and Ace of Wands. For some of you, you simply long for new beginnings. 
Uh, for some of you, it's simply this, um, it's like living the past in the past, honestly. The more we'll see how it goes, but I feel that this person, um, you love them in the past, but somehow, you know, when you love them, but then you love your peace of mind and independence even more, this is how it feels. Um, actually, we have confirmations, right? And we might have had a lot of love in the past, but now we have a lot of passion. It's like a fire in your belly about God knows what, your independence, your time with yourself, your whatever, you know. Some of you, you are really focused on your career right now, and maybe you uh, work on a labor of love of some sort, and you put a lot of energies in. That is also another energy. It's like dreaming. Um about the future and, uh, and ever a way where you'll uh, stand tall you know that's um beautiful now guess what Sagittarius is such a beautiful energy and it's interesting you had both of you nine of pentacles in the past now you have it you had ace of cups in the past now they have it with the ma with the magician this person of yours is manifesting you like crazy, Sagittarius. Ace of Cups is like, I have a cup of love and only Sagittarius can have it. And the magician is the energy of manifestation, of visualization, just of, um, you know, creating or living their life, including you in it, right? That's manifestation. It's like um, you being part of, of, of this. For some of you dealing with somebody who did something wrong, right? We have the three of swords, five of wands, and we might have had conflict and we might have had pain. Now, this is the person manifesting a full shift in energies and a complete change in um, the way they do stuff, in, in the way they uh, live their life. It's life-altering events, the magician, and also acquiring the tools and deploying the tools and working with all that we have, right? The passion, the stability, the money, um, and the mind. Um, you know, to give this cup of love to you because they they want this. Um, they want this um, rebirth of energies and of this connection, and they want a new beginning with you. Again, a clean slate, a clean slate. Energies between the two of you. We do have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn again. We have two queens, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We kind of have three um, energies. Honestly, I'm sensing the air sign is um, somehow the energy you might embody through the month of June, where there is this clarity of the mind and kind of seeing your future and your beginnings and a clean slate, your independence, and you kind of um, make a, um, a full assessment of what you want and um you know how exactly you want to move forward um and that is this strong energy of living the past in the past and honestly even this person of yours they feel like living the past in the past because they want to start from scratch with the ace of cups and the magician right i'm going this is their commitment to you i'm going to be different i'm going to do things differently i'm wiser now you know i can make magic too and i love you so that is this energy. Um, but then again, Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Both of you holding on to this connection. And that is a money aspect to it. That is a family aspect to it with the Pentacles. It's about money, everyday life. Four of Pentacles is about foundations and, um, and finances and money. So both of you are holding on to this. And you might have their energy all over your energy. They might be... Uh, coming at some at, at this time that energy is more powerful than yours probably more connected to you maybe financially maybe in a sense of the codependency maybe you um, have an aspect of money that includes them or they have an aspect of money that includes you that's a four of pentacles right we have all this in a um, um, shared resources so Queen of Pentacles, of course, is the energy of nurturing and taking care of you. So they show up here saying, hey, I want to take care of you. Um, and I want to come back to you, right? So moving forward, um, Sagittarius, what do we have? Absolutely a reconciliation. We do have Three of Cups and the Page of Wands. 
this is the energy of celebration and this is the energy of passion so they are passionate about you coming your way is a spark of passion this is chemistry and um, sensuality and playfulness and it comes with the energies of celebration this for some of you longing for independence this is the energy you are um, you know kind of basking in in June is this energy of I want to be happy I want to go out um, I want to see friends I want to have a drink with friends and I just want to live my life passionately but this is energies we ask for outcomes and um, energies coming your way and passion came and celebrations and while you have a good time such that is this person of yours is hurt and at crossroads two of wands and the three of swords they are highly hurt by what happened and again we have the bottom of the deck three of swords so it showed up twice they are extremely hurt by this and they do not appreciate the um having to change their path choosing and you know the more you have fun the more you hurt them um that's the energy the more you have a passion in your belly and wanting to do and live your life and have something on your own independently this person might be attached to you again that is this energy of attachment with the four of pentacles and uh, simply being at crossroads makes them in, in the tremendous about amount of love that they have for you okay so the energies between the two of you Sagittarius we have the queen of wands and the world so I'm sensing that you kind of want to end this or probably you did and this is what we um continue to be committed with right the world happy endings new chapters um and we do have rebirth can be your energy of rebirth but then you come together with somebody um such that it's kind of difficult for some of you we have feminine energies we have queen of swords queen of cups queen of pentacles queen of wands we have all the queens in the world here such that is showing up for you of course queen of wands is you um, but we have really all the queens in the deck showing up. So I might be picking up the energy of a Sagittarius who is passionate to be independent and be admired by people, by women, by God knows what. Can be. That is that is um, a strong energy on your side of let's end this and let me feel free for a while, right? Let me uh, breathe a little bit. Uh, while this person loves you and manifests you and it's um, he or she right they are quite hurt by by what's going on right now and it's interesting if I am picking up the Sagittarius having like multiple options here I'm unless you embody the energy of um, king of swords queen of swords and you choose your queen your king because that is coming together with your queen king the overall energy it is the energy of coming together it is the energy of a rebirth of a, of a renewal of some sort but then your whole reading speaks of independence and then we have the three of cups reconciliation again coming together celebrating celebrating passion honestly for some of you, such studies on your side is celebrating passion. So you do have a choice. You have multiple choice. In your mind, you know who your angel is. That's for sure. But then we have these um, endings that need to happen. And we have like chapters and happy endings that we want to have, right? It's quite complicated. And all these energies of people showing up, right? And messing up with your energy. It's kind of normal. It's part of life. It, that's how we roll as human beings. But, um, right, we influence each other. And we um, we take a bit, a bit of a journey together. And, and then we um, contribute to each other's uh, path, right? Um, yeah. But you are so loved. Um, such that is you are so loved yeah let's ask for some guidance shall we let's see what we need to do let's see what we need to do it feels like I gave them so much love especially on your side you gave them so much love and it feels like I want to enjoy my life now I want to be passionate 
I want to be, I want to feel um, driven by passion again. And yet your overall energy is rebirth and second chances and judgment day and judgment time. So let's have guidance. Wow, Sagittarius, we have asked for help, baby. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Ask for help. What do you really need? So with all the queens over here, what exactly do you need, baby? Ask for help. Be willing to accept support. Okay. So we need help in deciding, right? Unless we are addicted to something, but we don't have the devil. So no. Ask for help and you do have new love. So you are guided towards a new love. Such things. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Bottom of the deck, you do have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Ask for help, new love, and treasure your loved ones deeply. Um, the way I'm receiving this, and again, Sagittarius, you have to tell me how you receive this. But um, probably you have to leave behind somebody, someone, loved ones for a new love, but then you are, you are guided to ask for help. So let's have some romance angels. I am again called just like Leo reading. Let's see if we need to run away. Um, you do have new, new love. It's a little bit like, like the Leo bonus reading where we had three masculine energies, three or, or four, and there was this energy of choosing between people. So such say is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You have new love, true love. For some of you asking which one to choose, that is a new love, that's a true love. And of course we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to other, to others. It is, and we have chemistry. We do have the page of wands, right? And we have flirt and chemistry. Oh, such studies. What am I going to do with you? So that is a strong magnetic attraction here. So that is this new love, true love, where we have a lot of chemistry and flirt. That is a lot of um, physical attraction and sensuality. So now let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow. The more we see this, um, such as, and you're gonna resonate because I don't know, I'm just picking up energies and I'm picking up energies of a lot of people desiring you right? And coming in your energies and having emotional energies, flirtatious, ace of wands, we know it's a wand, right? Um, of course, can be a pussy stem, but you know, <laughs> just saying. It's, it's the ace of wands and the page of wands. So that is a lot of passion. I, I believe for some of you, this is actually decision time. That's a judgment, right? It's a call of action, but it's also a call of um, judgment and discernment. And um, and you are pointed towards a new love. If this person is a new love, you are really pointed there. It's like, yeah, that, that is true love. Might look like a flirt in chemistry, but it's true love, you know? Might look like not serious, like, you know, one night stand and then boom, we have a surprise. Oh my God, I really connect with this person. They are really smart and funny, you know, or something like that. Uh, whatever attracts you to them. And then you are asked to ask for help and treasure your loved ones. Okay. Oh, we have love. Oh boy. Sagittarius, this is about love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Right? So we need to get the energies of love back into the flow. Right? So you can love again. You are guided actually to bring back, uh, to bring love back into the flow. We do have surrender defensiveness, so I don't know who's stubborn about, but you are guided to surrender defensiveness. And it says defensiveness is a, is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. We do have envy, right? I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So we, 
right? No judgment again. We do have the judgment card. That's interesting. We have judgment as the um, um, the uh, overall energy for this time, and then we have I am I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges, right? I'm not above everybody. I'm not below. I'm just uh, like everyone else. We do have freedom. So yeah, with the world and freedom, we leave uh, something behind. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And bottom of the deck, we do have surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup and give the situation some breathing room. Okay. So freedom and stop controlling people. And we do have love, love and freedom love and freedom and this reading is guiding you towards true love and freedom and endings and judgment right it's a judgment day it's the end of something and we decide queen of swords king of swords we decide to be smart and wise about and for some of you it can be an air sign you move towards you know with the same energy so that you match and vibe at the same level um so such stories this is all that I have for you. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And please come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.